One of the two halves of the brain, the cerebrum, which is divided into the left and right, which are mirror images of each other, though they have some specialized functions. Three, two, one. The answer is hemisphere. Here's the next question. Right half of the brain's cerebral cortex, which plays a crucial role in visuospatial processing, emotional processing, and nonverbal communication. Three, two, one. The answer is right hemisphere. Here's the next question refers to the functional specialization of each cerebral hemisphere, meaning one hemisphere is typically dominant for certain tasks and functions. Three, two, one. The answer is brain lateralization. Here's the next question. Regions of the cerebral cortex that connect and coordinate sensory and motor areas, playing a crucial role in higher cognitive functions like memory, learning, and decision-making. Three, two, one. The answer is association area, Here's the next question. The region of the brain located at the front of the cerebrum, responsible for higher level cognitive functions, including executive functioning, decision making, and voluntary movement. Three, two, one. The answer is frontal lobe. Here's the next question. Region in the frontal lobe of the brain, typically located in the left hemisphere, that plays a crucial role in language production and processing. Three, two, one. The answer is Broca's area. Here's the next question. A brain region in the temporal lobe, primarily responsible for language comprehension, damage to this area can lead to Wernicke's aphasia, a condition where individuals can speak fluently but struggle to understand language. Three, two, one. The answer is Wernicke's area. Here's the next question. A region of the cerebral cortex, specifically located in the frontal lobe, that is responsible for planning, controlling, and executing voluntary movements. Three, two, one. One. The answer is motor cortex. Here's the next question. Brain regions primarily responsible for processing sensory information, especially touch, pain, temperature, spatial awareness, play a role in integrating sensory information from different parts of the body. Three, two, one. The answer is parietal lobes. Here's the next question. The brain regions responsible for processing sensory input from the body and the world. It's a broad term encompassing the primary and secondary cortices for different senses. Three, two, one. The answer is D, sensory cortex. Comment your score below to see how you rank against others.